Well, hello there, everybody. We parry from across the shock. Let me get in closer to you here. Now, what you're seeing in front of you is another knife from Gearbest. And this one is going up on the range a wee bit. We have our budgets like our Ganjo, Ganjo? Our, ga our, our Ganzo and our San Ramu. And this is the step up. This is Fura. And Fura have been doing amazing knife this year. Knives this year. My goodness, my teeth are not working out this morning. Now, the reason they're better is because they're D2 and they're titanium scales. Just simply. So they, they can't keep them at the price of just a, a G10 or anything. So, and these are well milled. These are not just slabs of titanium thrown on to make a life look expensive. As you can see in this, this is beautifully milled. They have lovely tactical holes. Even inside the holes, you can see they have really gone to town and done a nice chamfering job. There is nothing sharp on this knife whatsoever. Every single corner, every corner, has been rounded off. Now, this is the pocket clip. It came the same colour as the titanium. I wanted a silver, so I buffed it out. And I had also used it for another knife, so I took the top hole out. When it comes, you'll have a full spring clip up there. Okay, and it'll look lovely. It can't be transferred over. It can only be done the one side. So, let's tell you a wee bit more about the knife. As I said, it's D2. And this is a, a Fura pen here. So it gives you an idea of the length of it. And if I give you another idea of the length of it, there's a £10 note. Uh, and that's it inside our £10 note, which is a bit smaller than your American dollar. So this is not a big knife. But this is just a wee bit dearer than what I normally would call a budget knife. Now, to be honest with you, it's still very budget on the whole scheme of things. This is just for my pocket. This today is about £30, which is about $38. So we're not talking a vast jump in price to get a, a, a beautiful, absolutely beautiful knife that is so well ground. Look at that blade centering. It is just beautiful. Really, really is. Everything's thought you have a lock bar insert. Um, beautiful flipper, which is not too big, but every part of it's rounded over. You have jimping on it, which is brilliant. Look at that. Isn't that just a beautiful blade shape? What's that? What would you call that? A worn cliff? Um, probably not a worn cliff. A sheep's foot, maybe. Um, and it, it's just the most beautiful, beautiful knife. It was fairly sharp, but not razor sharp. I stuck it on my little uh, DC, or CC4, the Falk Niven sharpener. And I got a bit careless and scratched there, but she'll buff out if I want to. To me, I'm going to use this knife, so it didn't bother me in the slightest. There's a lovely decorative pivot head, but it is just a torque screw in the centre of it. And you've got one screw at the back here. So two screws takes it apart. You don't even have to take your clip off. It is just one of the clip pockets or one of the clip Oh, sorry, let me get down here. One of the clip holes is connected to this main bracket. So you just take that out and that's it. So let's get some sizes on it. Let's go there. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a quarter. So when she's out, long way, she's a good long length. You have one, two, three, a full three and a half cutting edge on it. So this is a nice size knife for EDC because, because of the fact that they're using all the handle nearly to get that blade in. So she's a nice size. What weight is she? Let's have a wee look at the weights. Now, we're on ounces and she is 3.3 ounces, which I think you'll agree is pretty, pretty good for the size of the knife. That's 93.8, 94 grams. So again... Well within the weight restraints that we want. Now, the blade thickness. Let's have a wee just look at the blade thickness. And that is an eighth, a good eighth. Three and a half. It's just over an eighth. And it's about three and a half mil. So this is fairly well thick stock. Coming down to a sabre grind here. It's flat, full flat, well, full flat sabre grind. It's a sabre grind that's flat. And a lovely straight edge. Really, really good straight edge. So, 
Now, oh here I must do that in I must do that in centimeters. The full length in centimeters is just under twenty one centimeters, and the blade is nine centimeters with a cutting edge of about eight and a half. So that's roughly there now. What I see across the back, I never weighed that. Let's just do that across the back here, get right across the fat part. And it's a half inch, a full half inch, which is about 12 and a half centimetres. 12, sorry. 12 millimetres, sorry. My goodness, can you tell it's an early in the week job? Now, I think that is a beautiful knife. It doesn't weigh too much. It is classically designed, just beautiful. And I'll, I'll give you a couple of comparisons of what it looks like. There's my BM940. She's a wee bit bigger than the 940. Which is fine. Do you know what I mean? She's fine. She's not super long. Here is against my Lion Steel Dom. If I do that. Again, about the same thickness as a Lion Steel. That's a wee traditional. And it's about the same thickness. I put it out because the blades are near enough the same and so is the handle. Thickness is a wee bit thinner on the dom steel, but it just lets you see it's just that wee bit bigger, which will get a wee bit more work done. And here is another one which I thought would be a nice comparison, which at the minute is the in knife in the budget world. And there it is. There's the Ganzo uh, F11. FB11 and FB11. FB11. And they're near enough exactly the same size, but she's a slimmer profile than the Ganzo. So I would say if you like that slim Ganzo style, this is even lovely. In the pocket, you don't feel this. You literally don't feel it in the pocket. It is so just skinny little knife. Look at that lock up too. The lock up is just about perfect for a new knife. I give that a bad. There you go. There's a normal flick out. And it's about 30%, 25-30%. Really nice locket. You can see the lock bar insert there. And there's no cutouts as such other than there's holes drilled out all the way along here. Um, the back not, obviously, because you got the lock bar and the lock bar insert there. So, do I recommend this? Do you know something? If if these things, if this is just a bit expensive for your taste, think about Christmas. Think about the kids. Would you like the kids to get you a knife? I think this is the perfect Christmas present. That's just a wee bit up in class. Again, there's the little Fura pen, um, the tactical pen. Uh, so if you imagine that in your pocket and this in your pocket, they're about the same. The thickness of the actual things is are exactly the same. There's not much difference in thickness. So if a pen sits in your pocket, imagine how easily you're going to have a three and a half inch blade, bladed knife in your pocket. And it's an all round knife. It's not a it's not a super slicer. It's not a um, a super wood knife. It's just an all round EDC blade that will take on any task of the day. Great pointed uh, end to to open up packages. You can slice anything with it. Again, it's just not a master none. It's an EDC which will do anything during your day. But so slim. If you're going to a wedding, if you you want to put that in your pocket, nobody's going to notice it whatsoever. And again, you know, it is pretty now. This colour is grape. They don't have any of the grape left at the moment. Now, I don't know whether they'll get any in. You never get that sort of information. But what they have got, they've got a golden blue, which is this outer frame is either gold or blue, and the inner part of the frame is gold or blue. They swap it over. It's two mixtures, okay? Looks really nice. And they also have just a grey titanium. If you just want to keep it grey, maybe analyse it yourself, do it up yourself. Um, Use it for practice and it's 30 quid. But if you can make that your own by getting it anodized or whatever, how lovely is that? I just think they've done a really good job. Even the pivot head, do you know what I mean? They've gone to town. They haven't just thrown out a knife for the sake of getting into the market. They've actually done a wee bit of work, a wee bit of thinking, and they have carried it out perfectly. It really is lovely. Really nice. I say it didn't come blunt, but it wasn't perfectly sharp. It took two seconds to get a shot. What's it like? Uh, I keep not saying I'm not going to do these, but there it is. There's telephone paper. And that literally was about two seconds on my wee machine just to give it a, a quick lick to get that sharpening up. So there you go. Have you seen my hand? I was self-harming yesterday. Do you, <laughs> this, this is funny. Do you know the way, as great big knife people, we bring these beautiful knives out and we show them and we put them up on Instagram. 
I hadn't, I wasn't doing an Instagram this morning because I'd done an extra one last night for it was a wee tag. Do you know what I'm carrying this morning? I wasn't going to tell you, but I'm going to show you what I'm carrying in my tracksuit bottom around the house today. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> a peanut. I'm carrying a Rough Rider peanut. And I was sharpening this yesterday. That's the big blade on her. I was sharpening. I think, oh, do you know, it's not that sharp. And I was feeling it, right? Now, I'm a bit thick. If you see my thumb, I at one stage had sliced my thumb. A knife went right down, about, down to about there in my thumb. And if you can see, my thumb was all out of shape. That's the way where the stitches got it. Um, it had to be stitched. So that's the way it left my thumb. And I, I was I was whittling and it just went straight down in there and straight down in. But I was feeling it with this. I have no feeling at the end of them. So I thought it wasn't sharp and I had a niche in the back of my hand and I was scratching. Now, I, I wasn't literally going straight into the skin and seeing blood, but I scratched there and then it was itchy over there and I gave it a wee scratch over here. <laughs> and about an hour later, I looked down and there's blood peeing out of my hand. It was that sharp. I put it on the bit of my thumb and I didn't. So... Patties are not thick, it's just me. <laughs> well, I thought it was funny anyway, so there you go. That's my EDC today, and it's as sharp, I'll tell you, it's as sharp as that. People talk about Rough Riders, and I just think, look, there's a wee Rough Rider. There's a wee Rough Rider there. Look at that on a bit of telephone paper. It's just the most lovely little knife to carry and does more work than you could think it would possibly ever do. So, there we go. The story of the peanut. You got a wee bonus this morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I, I, I highly recommend it. I think it's a beautiful knife. Beautifully executed. Sorry, I meant to say that is on bearings as well. Okay, that is on bearings. It's just the most beautiful little thing. Beautiful. Now, I shall go and leave you in peace. I have a habit of just picking it up and looking. I'm not sharing it with you. I'm just having a wee look myself. <laughs> there she goes. Look at that for a blade. Isn't that lovely? That is a good EDC knife. Highly recommended. If it's just above your uh, thing, I will even save a, a week or two and get it. It's, just, it's that nice. I'm going to be using this one. This is not going anywhere but my collection. My user collection. And it's just the business. So, bye-bye. I'm away before I talk too much. <laughs> Cup of tea time. All the best. Bye-bye now.